Hey guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. Here is my new Galaxy S22 Ultra. It's the Exynos 2200 SoC, which we are all waiting for because of the AMD GPU. And of course, first thing I did is to test the performance and the efficiency of this SoC and the GPU. I've posted a result. If you haven't seen it, please check out my Twitter or YouTube community post. And now, of course, we are going to do the Genshin Impact gaming test on this device. And to make all my test results comparable against each other, I always test at a constant 25 to 26 degrees room temperature. As you can see here with the thermometer. All right, so now let's launch the game. And uh, I heard some of you want to see how fast or how slow the game loads. So here I won't skip this part to give you an idea of the loading time. Alright, so now we are in the game. You see the game actually loads pretty fast, which I think is a good thing. And uh, now let's take a look at graphic settings because this is a flagship device. So I'm going to use all highest graphic settings plus 60 FPS. So you can see that here, everything is set to highest. And uh, yeah, so let's go to the test. Just like all my previous tests, we'll play the game for real for 10 minutes and I'll show you the real time FPS and power consumption at the bottom of the video. So if you are interested, watch the full footage. Otherwise, skip to the end of the video where I'll test the device temperature and uh, give you a conclusion on the performance and the efficiency. All right, let's go. Next on the agenda. characters.
Can you? Healthy body, healthy mind.
All right, now after 10 minutes of gaming, let's test the device temperature. Uh, here we see that Samsung is actually very, very conservative about the uh, thermals and the power consumption and temperature. So this device, uh, although the performance is not very good, but it doesn't get very hot, right? The hottest spot I can find is only 41 degrees. This is one of the coolest Android devices I have tested. But then the gaming performance is really not that good. Over the 10 minutes we've played, the average FPS is only 30. I think this might be a step backwards from last year's Exynos 2100 even. But I don't know, maybe the game has updated or the drivers of this AMD GPU is not optimized. I don't know, but this performance is really, really poor. And then if we look at the power consumption, it's typical Samsung. Uh, it keeps the total power very low at 4.4 watts, and it's actually quite stable. We don't see the usual uh, high power at the start and then gradually throttle and dropping the power down to a low level. We see it very consistently at 4 to 5 watts, uh, even from the start. Okay, so that's it for this Genshin Impact gaming test on Exynos 2200. Overall, I feel pretty disappointed. I was hyped for the AMD GPU just like all of you. However, now it turns out that the AMD GPU is just not that great. But of course, I'll wait for system updates, driver updates and everything to see if the performance improves with time. After all, this is a pretty new platform, right? And also, I'll do comparisons with the predecessors like Exynos 2100 as well as the Snapdragon counterpart, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 in the coming weeks. So please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to more updates. Alright guys, so thanks for watching and see you next time.